at least I, I've known the president for quite a while now. He's not a vindictive person at all. But the ANC has to take a decision on what they think could be a better way of handling issues of cabinet, issues of deployment um, of its own members. And I think they will reflect on that and then they will be able to advise the president exactly on what to do. At the moment, I wouldn't know what is it that the first NEC would discuss. But I do believe that um, discussions will take place uh, based on, on, on this particular issues, including issues of those that were ill-disciplined, like you know deciding to do what they did. So it, it won't be because they did not support him or they they, 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 they criticize him uh, in any way. It would be that no one is allowed in the ANC to actually not um, um, take mandate from the organization itself. That is, the, it's, it's ill discipline. It's actually an indication that there is something wrong uh, in, 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 in how you understand the organization. Therefore, you need to be rehabilitated so that you can then now be able to understand what the organization stands for and how to be a cadre of the movement because building a cadre of the movement becomes very important so that the ANC can be able to be what it's supposed to be. So I don't think the president is a vindictive person. However, um, um, as a leader of the ANC, the ANC will have to take decisions on some of the things that didn't really go well and some of the ill-disciplined uh, character that we've seen in members of the organization. That has to be reflected upon and as the NEC, I do believe that we'll come to some kind of a determination that we will then now advise the president on.